and Jacob Zuma must either hand himself over to crazy, the police. Crazy, crazy visuals. I mean, if you could just describe, describe it in one word, um, what, 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 how would you, how would you describe it? In one word, apocalyptic. The week before, we then started shutting down the N3 highway, which is South Africa's major highway. Monday came, groups going crazy, saying certain places were being hit that week, and got to Watercrest Mall to try and assist SAPS with uh, aerial surveillance. And before I knew it, I was videoing the purge. And it didn't stop the whole week. It was just absolutely crazy. Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night, and today as well. I've, I've lost millions. People just, yeah, going crazy. Stealing, breaking things, burning things. It was like the world was coming to an end. So in that week, uh, definitely saw a lot of things for the first time. Um, came across numerous dead bodies uh, in that week. The one incident that stands out the most is um, a lady got shot through the head um, and Conrad from Netcare um, asked me to drive his vehicle while he tried to resuscitate this lady and keep her alive uh, while heading to the hospital. On Monday night going into Tuesday morning, there was a different presence that I felt from Monday uh, during the day. It literally felt like this country was coming to an end. Um, the way things were going on, it, it was the realization that a human life is nothing. Many more South Africans are feeling anxious and afraid tonight. Parts of the country are reeling from days and nights of public violence, destruction of property and looting of the sort rarely seen before in the history of our democracy. 